Hi guys, and welcome to another Game Plays. Today we are having a look at the wonderful world of Ark Survival Evolved. Now, this is set on a place called The Island, I know, extremely imaginative. And um, it's filled with dinosaurs and people, pretty much. So what I'm going to do is a quick little run through of the top 10 things to help you survive your first day on Ark. So firstly, we've got to worry about food and water. And thankfully, there's a load of dodos around here that we can kill in a minute. And there's also a sea. Um, there is no salt water in the game, so you can drink everything's fresh water, so you can drink from anywhere. So all you need to do is walk up to it, hit Y, and you have a little drink. Though I'm not thirsty at the moment because you don't lose water while it's raining. I guess you've got some sort of colander in your head or something. But um, yeah, so that's water. You can also pick it up and carry it with you if you use stuff like water skins and jars as well, which you can craft later on into the game. Um, as for food, when you first start the game, you're probably not going to have anything on you. Well, I know you're not going to have anything on you. So what you're going to have to do is gather berries. So you do that by running up to bushes, hitting Y, and you pick up berries. You also pick up thatch as well, which is a nice craftable material. But for the moment, we're just going to pick up lots and lots of berries. Don't worry about that trike there. He's friendly. Well, not if you punch him, but he's not aggressive anyway. So, there we go. We've got a nice few berries. Grab a few more to fill me up. Alright, and now to use these, what you do is hop into your inventory by pressing B. And then you can eat them. There's certain ones you don't want to eat, and they're called stim berries and narco berries. Now, narco berries are used for knocking creatures out so you can tame them. And stim berries are used for waking them up. But it also dehydrates you. So there's certain things you don't want to eat and those are those two. But any other type of area you can munch on and you can see your food go up. So your food meter and your water meter are down on the right hand side. You can see the little water droplet and then the ham icon. That's your food and water. And then on the left hand side there you can see that I've eaten all those berries and my food's going up. So that's good. So... You know, you've got to make sure that you keep eating and drinking, otherwise you'll die of starvation or dehydration very, very quickly. Ah, there's a random guy there. Alright, uh, another good way of getting meat is to kill dodos. So, I've... This is my uh, main character, as you can see, I'm level 60, so um, I've just got naked onto the beach. But I've also built myself some spears so I can kill some dodos. And once we kill this dodo, we can give it a little bit of a jab and get some meat so we've got one raw meat on me now so that's going to be nice to eat but as you can see it spoils in nine minutes and 51 seconds so you've got to be careful about how much stuff you're carrying and that it doesn't spoil um so we've got some meat we can't eat that raw so we're gonna have to cook it so what we're gonna have to do is build a fire so when you start you've got no tools on you or anything so the only way to get stuff off the trees is to punch it uh, this does damage your health, so you can see on the right hand side there, my little health bar right down the bottom right is slowly going down as I'm punching these trees, but like I said, when you start, you don't start with anything, so you're going to have to punch these trees to get a bit of wood, a bit of thatch, so you can build some items. So let's just punch a few more, that should be enough I reckon, and we're going to need a stone or two, let's pick those off the Look, there's no stones around here. Now, stones you can mine from the big ones, or you can just pick up off the floor. Cheers, dude. I'm guessing he wasn't using that. So, we've picked some stones up. Now we can craft ourselves a tool. So, we just go over to our crafting menu up here and select a stone pick. And now that that's crafting, once that's done, there we go. It will pop into my inventory. I can drag that down onto my hotbar. And then press up to use my hatchet. Not my hatchet, my pickaxe. So now that I've got this, I can make get flint and stone off these big rocks without hurting myself. And I can also get it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Flint, need more stone. I can also harvest trees now without hurting myself as well. So I run over to here and hit this. So while I'm doing this, you can see that little icon in the bottom right, the like thunderbolt icon, that's my stamina. Now another very good tip is to watch that bar. Now what happens is whenever I do anything that isn't just standing still and doing nothing, I'll be using up my stamina. It does regain over time, but if you keep doing stuff without stopping, it will slowly deplete. And if you keep going all the way until it hits the bottom, 
you'll stop moving. But if you then start again without it recharging, your torpor will go up. Now, what your torpor is, is sort of how conscious you are. And if we keep farming, keep moving, and keep attacking and doing things, then eventually our torpor will get so high that we'll pass out. And that's not a good thing, because if we're unconscious on the floor, then anything's going to be able to attack us. So I'm just going to swing this a little bit more to show you when it gets fully depleted. And there we go. You're tired. Stop moving for a minute. So now you can see the little starry icon appear on the right. Now, once that gets all the way to the top, I'll pass out. And that's never a good idea. So we're going to stop doing that for the moment. All right. How much have we got now? Because we want to build ourselves a fire. Um, as you can see, I can build quite a few different things, but not enough for a fire yet. Needs more stone. So let's just farm this a little bit more. Oh. I did see a fire down here a minute ago. I wonder if I can just use someone else's. Oh yeah, there we go. Cool. So, there's a fire here. What we can do is stick the wood on there. Stick the meat on there. Oh, take the charcoal. Light the fire. And then that take a little bit of time to cook. So, the other thing that we need to worry about in this game is heat and cold. So right now it's kind of like, it's the middle of the day, so I don't need to worry about the heat or the cold. I'm naked, so I don't need to worry about the heat anyway. Um, but yeah, there's a nice game mechanic in here, which is about hot and cold. And what happens if you're too cold, you'll get a little icon down the bottom left of a snowflake, or an ice cube if you're really cold. And if you're too hot, down the bottom left you have a little flame, or a big flame if you're really hot. Now what these things do, if you're too hot, your water will go down quicker. And if you're too cold, then your food will go down quicker. Um, if you're really hot, then you'll start losing health. And if you're really cold, you'll start losing health. So you really got to keep an eye on those things. So our cooked meat's done. I did bring some down from my main base with me, just so I didn't starve to death. So let's use a few of these and get our health back up. Cool. So now we can see that our health's going back up we can concentrate on the next thing, which is our carry weight. Now, I've put a lot of stats into carry weight, so I don't really need to worry about it. But on the right-hand side, you can see the little weight symbol just above the water. And what that is, is how much you're carrying. So everything you pick up has a weight to it. So if I just farm a bit of thatch here, and then go into my inventory, I can see that a whole stack of thatch of, two, of 100 has a two weight. Now, my total weight is shown over there on the right, which is currently 200. So I can carry tons and tons of thatch. Now with stone, for example, we farm a little bit of this. What is that large banging sound? I think it's just, oh, it's just that guy. It's fine. Um, stone, for example, just six of them has a weight of three. So you lot, there's so many different items in this game, and each of them has a different weight. So obviously the heavier items you're going to be able to carry less of. Now what happens if you cover over encumbered is you can't move. Which is never a good situation to be in. Just because, you know, if you're overcumbered, you can't move. You can't, how are you going to punch a dodo in the face if you can't move? I mean, you know. <laughs> Stupid dodo. Um, yeah, you can't punch a dodo in the face. And no one wants to not be able to punch a dodo in the face, do they? So, that's our carry weight. Now, resources. Resources are everywhere on this island. And gathering them is the way that you, you know, you build structures, you survive, you, it's just, it's part of the game. You need to gather resources, otherwise you're just going to sit on the beach and die very, very quickly. Now, there's lots of different tools to gather lots of different resources. So, for example, using a pickaxe, I can gather lots and lots of flint. However, if I make a hatchet, which is somewhere... Down here, oh, I need some more wood. If I make a hatchet, then I can gather stone. There we go. So, let's just make that hatchet. Very quickly. And equip it on my hotbar. So yeah, like I was saying, this gets loads and loads of flint. And then using this, We'll also get a bit of flint, but we'll get me loads and loads of stone. So there's different things for gathering. There's different tools for gathering different items. And then the same on trees as well. If I use a hatchet, I'll get lots of wood. 
if I use a pick, I'll get lots of thatch. Or it'll break, and I won't get anything. Um, yeah, that's the other thing about gathering resources. You really need to pay attention to your equipment. Because you can see each bit of equipment's got a little health bar down the bottom. So thankfully, you can repair them. So, you know, you really need to gather your resources. And you re- Oh. Stefano, you were over there a minute ago. What are you doing over here? Mm. Has he got anything on him? Ooh. Thank you for the hide. Thank you for the thatch. Thank you for the wood. Oh, I'm just going to take everything. Nothing like capitalising on someone else's hard work. Um, that's not a point of how to stay alive, but, you know, you may as well do it when you can. So, yeah, that's uh, gathering resources, and obviously you've got to use the right tool for the job. Next. So, there's going to come a point that, you know, you've got some food, you've got some water, you've got some tools. Now what? Well, you're going to have to build yourself a little base to keep all your stuff. Because you can try and be a nomad in this game, but you'll die very, very quickly. So, the next important thing is location. Now, what you're going to be looking for is somewhere near a water supply, near wood, near trees, and near rock. So you can gather all the main things that you need to build your base. Um, it's starting to get dark. So yeah, you need to pick a location. So this guy up here, he's decided to build his house up here on the beach. Which, you know, you might think is a good idea. However, the beach is a very, very open place. And it's not great. Just due to the fact that there's so many, it's such a high traffic area. People are going to come across it. People are going to rage it. And you're going to come back in one day and all your stuff's going to be gone. So you need to be careful where you build your base. Um, saying this... We've actually built a base on the um, <laughs> beach down here, which we've made out of wood. But then again, we're only carry, we're only using it to keep some dolphins in. So it's not our main base. If you're going to build your main base, remember keep it somewhere hidden and that it's not going to be found. And then when it actually comes to building your base itself, don't build out of wood and don't build out of thatch. If you build your base out of wood and thatch, then it's going to get raided and you're going to lose all your stuff. Build out of stone, build out of metal, just to keep all your stuff safe. So that's most of the tips I've got for you. I've just got one more thing and that's pick your battles. So right now I'm on foot. All I've got is a hatchet, a pickaxe. And two spears. If I went and tried to attack that Rex, that um, Rex, no, I would never try and attack a Rex. If I tried to go and attack that trike now, it would murder me, and it would be a really silly idea. So I'm definitely not going to attack that thing right now and then run away for my life because that would just be silly. But um, that's part and parcel of the game, really. <laughs> it's just doing stupid things and um, dying very quickly. So yeah, like I said, pick your battles. You don't want to die by a trike. So guys, if you follow these tips, remember about your food, your water, when to fight, when to run, how to gather your resources, keep warm, don't get too cold, and everything else that we've covered, then one day you'll be able to build a lovely thriving metropolis like we've managed to do here. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.